What's up guys, Penguin CJP here, and today I am back to review another Splatoon manga. This is Volume 2. Team Blue has acquired attention after impressive showings against some of the most elite inkling teams but it only gets tougher from here with the S4 inklings aiming to bring down goggles and friends The team must continue to find ways to improve, even when it when it means getting help from an old enemy. So, uh, this is the S4. So we have Army and Aloha, who were the two that Team Blue fought in the last volume. And now we have Mask and uh, Skull, who are the two that they fight in this volume. So, you know, uh, this volume starts out like how the last one did with most of its chapters. Uh, Team Blue meets Team Turquoise, uh, leaded by Skull. Uh, mask, and they uh, start to just get absolutely destroyed uh, by Team Turquoise's sub-weapon Armageddon. But then, uh, Mask sees that uh, Bobble Hat isn't cowering in fear like they should in despair. And she's got her ever-present smile on her face, and she's laughing. And he asks, how could she not be terrified? How could she not be in despair? And she says, because it's fun. And that catches Mask off guard. They splat him, splatters other teammates, and, uh, and then they win the match. Uh, but the next chapter starts out differently because we see Team Blue lose to Team Purple headed by Skull and the, the reason is well they just weren't good enough yeah that that's it no didn't have enough power friendship or nothing no it's just they weren't good enough so Ryder says that he can teach them, and something that I think is really cool is that, uh, if you remember from the last volume, Ryder didn't really have a team. He did get a team, but it was only because he wanted to participate in the tournament, because, you know, that was the only way you could. He thought he was good enough, so he didn't train or nothing, and, you know, that proved to be false. So he actually trained with these guys, and they actually got pretty decent. They taught Goggles how to do a cool new zigzag move, and they beat Team Purple. And everything is uh, going, you know, swimmingly, and the volume ends with a cliffhanger with Captain Cuttlefish popping out of the drain, like he does in the regular game. Uh, so, yeah, that is really the... The main focus of this volume is just them finishing off the S4 and training with Ryder. And, you know, I actually really like it. I do like the battle with Mask mainly because it's got Bobble Hat in it. Like, she's, she's the main focal point. And I really like Bobble Hat. I mean, how can you not? She smiles all the time. She is too happy. 
but I love it. And, you know, them losing and training with Ryder, I didn't expect, you know. I thought they would find some other convoluted way to uh, beat Skull, but nah, nah, they just weren't good enough, and Ryder taught them, which I thought that was neat, especially because of his development. You know, he's supposed to be, I guess, the sort of rival character. Not really rival, just like, you know, he's not gonna say that Goggles is his best friend, but they're definitely not enemies. So, I guess I'll show some art. The art is just as good here as it was back in Volume 1. Uh, yeah, there's really not much to say about this volume. Not that it's not good, no, it's definitely really good. I liked how they had to train up with Ryder to fight Skull, and I liked the battle with Mask. It's just, well, that's what this volume is about. So if you like the first volume, then get this one. It's basically more of the same. It's finishing up that uh, S4 arc, and in the next volume, we're going to see the Splatoon 1 Story Mode arc. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this is Penguin CJP signing out.